Yo guys, how you doing? Welcome to my Kidderminster playthrough. So, as you can see, we've already taken the hot seat. Uh, this video is just going to be explaining what we're going to do with the team, what we're going to do with the staff, and I'll quickly show you my stats uh, right now. So, I pretty much put myself as pretty much an, att an attacking kind of style of a coach. So I took away some defending and gave myself attacking. So pretty much what I did was is I put myself as the uh, what's it called recommended for being a Kerminster um, guy, being a Kerminster manager. So yeah, that sorted that out. So we'll have a quick look at the squad. I normally like to play possession play. So let's have a look at the formation and stuff like that. So. 4 2 three, 1 could work well, but I've got to check out the squad first, make sure the squad works well in this. So, Ed Williams doesn't normally like playing, he normally likes playing on the wing. He can play striker, okay, so he's not bad. He's pretty decent all around there. <clears throat> he's normally better on the wing. We've got Ashley Chambers, who's normally a striker. Maybe he might be best playing 4 2 2, but. I'll come back to this finishing 16. Holy hell. Ain't you got some strong foot on your side? Right. So we'll come back to this. I'll work on this afterwards and show you guys all of it all, obviously. But from what I can see, Chambers is going to be a good, good backup to Ironside. Ironside's definitely going to be our target man. Maybe we're best playing wing play and pinging it into the box and drop someone down into centre defensive mid here and have two wingers you know actually put Williams there uh, and then bring someone Declan Weeks put him there put him as a deep line playmaker defend <clears throat> and then take take Chambers out put Billy Daniels there maybe like I say I was sorting all this out properly come later come later around but yeah I'll put him as a goalkeeper defend so right that, that that's Probably the formation we're going to go with 4 1 4 1, but normally it's a, that's technically a 4 3 3 when you think about it. And I'll probably change the tactical style to maybe some kind of, I don't know, wing play because he's, he's definitely a target man. So we're probably going to be best playing like some kind of either control possession and ping it into the box, you know, hit mixed crosses. Play mixed crosses will be better, play for set pieces. Run into the fence, put this on standard, and yeah, I think that that should be pretty cool like that. You know, um, staff. Now this is probably the main one that I probably will take loads of time working out. Uh, obviously, we've got myself. There's my stats. Uh, we don't have an assistant manager, so I'm definitely going to be looking at bringing an assistant manager because they help out a ton. Luke, like this guy called Luke Astley, he doesn't really have amazing stats, but he's a coach nonetheless. Um, we've got another coach here as well. Is he contracted? Where was he? Is? He's on three hundred and fifty pound per week. Mark Muddyman, and he has good motivating level, discipline, determination, and his preferred formation is a four-one-four-one. But is he going to really be good enough to? take us up to the national you know and then we have goalkeeping coach so i've really noticed this thing about goalkeeping coaches right they tend to either have very very good goalkeep goalkeeper coaching but then don't tend to have good mental stats but he has very good defending he got very good defending so no wonder why we're at top and defending here and we're top in man management as well and then we have head of youth development He's got 19 working with youngsters, but 7 and 8. Play could work on something better. It, maybe. Just, I, I don't know. It could work. Um, but that, he's going to be the last person we change. And is he under contract? I don't think he is, is he? He is not under contract. He's on a long contract. So, we could always keep him, to be honest. <clears throat> so, right here now, is we're going to our recruitment. So, let's just click on recruitment. We've only got one person called Kieran Walker. And his stats for data analyst in this league 
And I think it's presenting data and judgment are the best. In, no, sorry, presenting the data is best at. So, I don't know if we need a data analyst. He's on 250 per week. We definitely need a, need a head scout. Definitely do. So, I'll work on that. We'll definitely look to work on that. And then we have, we actually have a physio and a sports scientist. Any team that I've gone to with a low one doesn't tend to have medical staff. For some reason, I just don't know why. So, Kidderminster still having them pretty rare. Um, he has 10 physios. So, it's not terrible for this league. And what do you have? You have four sports science. So, yeah, you're, you're not really that good. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, so, we're going to look to probably change our medical staff. Because they're on quite a lot, I believe. 160, 250. Yeah, they're on a lot. And they shouldn't be on that much. No chance. And he... Would probably work good as a scout. Like, he's got 20 adaptability, but yeah. But still, um, the staff, definitely, we're going to look at the staff. I always, it's the first thing I'll look at. And maybe we can, I don't know, get our stats like maxed out here for this league. Maybe who's at top here for goalkeeping? Stockport. I think Stockport have this. Guy with like 17 17, or do you have two goalkeeping coaches? You have two. You have Dane Smith, who's also a player, but then you have this guy who's got triple eights. Pretty decent, that to be honest. That's not bad. Um, so let's have a look at the squad, eh? So the squad isn't really that big. Joe Ironside is our main guy. He definitely is. He's, he's going to be our main up front striker. We need to bet. Definitely will be utilising his height, his heading, his finishing up in that first. Up, just, just, you know, just got to ping the balls to him. He's going to be banging them in. Well, 16 finishing and 13 heading. This guy is going to be very good for National League as well, I believe. Um, Ashley Williams. Uh, Chambers, sorry, Ashley Chambers. Will be a very good backup. But if we use him, we're going to have to change our style of play. I reckon. We'll have to change our style of play to a passing. Because he's an advanced forward, so we'll have to change it around and maybe do like, I don't know, a 4 2 3 1, change it to possession. So I'll probably make two tactics. Um, oh, he's just Ryan Johnson, we got a loan from Stevenage. I swear down he used to play for Shrewsbury. I swear down he was with Shrewsbury, Ryan Johnson. No, nope, St. Albans, Stevenage, and no need to. Okay, I'm totally wrong. Um, but he looks pretty decent as a, a centre back that we could use. But he's on loan. Um, he's Northern Irish as well, so pretty cool. Um, right, right. So here we go. We definitely need to work on our right centre back. Well, sorry, not right centre back, right back. We've got a 33 year old here that, that's playing as our right back at the moment, I believe. Yeah, he's definitely. Oh, Fargan. Oh, wait. Uh, Lee Fargan is our right back. Oh, he plays as a wing back normally. Um, I, I personally think we're going to still need to work on that. Like, you've got Sam Austin here. He can play everywhere, Jesus. But he's definitely going to be like someone that we work with. He's 21, he's young. Uh, definitely need to work on our right back. Do we need to work on a left back? Uh, we've got Joel Taylor. He could play there. And we've got our... Uh, he was playing left back for him. Was it... Did we have... No, we have Joel Taylor's playing there, and Ryan, Ryan Johnson's going to be our backup for there as well. Okay. Um, trying to think where we really need to work on. Let's check what the team think in the team report. Could do with more than just Brandon Hall able to play in goal. Didn't even look at that. Uh, we've, got, we've got Tom Palmer. He's a youngin. He's a young kid. Um, how influential player, Brandon Hall, he's 25, yeah, probably needs someone that can play just as good as he can, Tom Palmer isn't really that good, uh, left wing, wait, left wing back, we're not playing a left wing back, we're playing a, well, we we'll technically are playing a left wing back, but we're going to be playing full backs, um, so, yeah, probably definitely work on this part here. Um, just it's just mad to try to think out where we need to work out properly.
But yeah, I'm definitely going to go through this squad with a fine tooth comb, bringing people that need to be brought in. Uh, deserves a new contract. We'll we'll, we'll figure it think, figure that out, mate. If you if we believe you need a new contract. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to this. I'll come back to you maybe tomorrow when this goes out, and we'll hopefully have new stuff going on. So. Hopefully catch you then guys. If you want to webcam as well, just let me know in the comments. And I'll do webcam. Uh, but until then guys, make sure you have a good one. Peace.